you should be doing enough stuff in real life that you should just be able to document it and not just like creating out of thin air. And people get confused on that because they're like, well, don't you have to create? I create content all the time, but it's like, this is the difference. Like I'm creating content all the time with real nurses in our community that I built a relationship with over the last four years. I'm sharing their real lived experiences. I'm documenting like no one supports nurses more than we do, gives away more free gifts, gives of their time. I create resources and I document that, but it's out of like experiences and conversations I've had. I'm not just pulling stuff out of the sky or making something up. Welcome back to Fast Foundations, the podcast. It's your girl, Jess Bergio, and I'm so excited to bring you another alumni guest episode. Today, we have my girlfriend, Kat Golden, joining the show. Kat, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. So excited to chat with you. It's been long overdue. You and I connected on the very first round of Fast Foundations, the mastermind, where you, like, I can't even articulate the growth I've watched happen for you since that very first round, which was back in early 2019. I don't know if you even have looked back that far and counted the years, but I oh, I like have. It's like a, another lifetime. It is another lifetime. And it's so cool, though, to be able to watch you evolve and do all the things that you've been able to accomplish because you just have that energy about you that you, you self proclaimed the hype girl that everybody needs. I mean, like you're literally the ultimate hype girl. I've leaned on you for support over the years during that mastermind to create my very first course. You were there for me for that. You're there for so many people. It's just who you are and innately like you're such a giver. And I've been able to just see how this giving and this service-based like heart has helped tens of thousands of women, men, especially too, in the nursing industry, in the industry of service, really. Cause that was me too. Even though I wasn't a nurse, I related so heavily yeah, to your message because I'm a service provider, right? I hold space for yep. people even behind the chair and now in coaching too. So it's, it's really like a worldwide type of a message that you serve. And so can you speak to a little bit about I know there's a huge backstory of how Nurses Inspire Nurses was created, but Kat is the founder and CEO of Nurses Inspire Nurses. And I just, I feel very honored to get to have this conversation with you today, miss. Oh, thank you. I just think, you know, I don't know. I think even as women, like we're always so busy taking care of everyone else. And especially in nursing, like I just worked with the most amazing humans and they were all tired and burnt out. And I had been on my own mindset journey, you know, I had been in network marketing, I'd had a blog, like I've always kind of been dabbling in things. And I was just sick of everyone complaining about it. I'm like, we can complain about it, or we can do something about it. Like, and so I was just like, I'm gonna do something about it. And I honestly never intended to start a business. That's what's so funny. Um, it just kind of happened. And it's, it's a little bit of hard work and a lot of, you know, I don't know, a little luck and a little opportunity. But I just slapped Nurses Inspired on a t-shirt on a complete whim and through a party, I was like, only nurses can come. I'm also scrappy and just not afraid to take action. So I was like, oh, we will get some wine at Trader Joe's. <laughs> nurses will come. And my chiropractor do some chair massages and kind of the rest is history. Yeah, she makes it sound so easy. So go out and start an epic multi-million dollar business, guys. Go, just go and do it. Get some wine at Trader Joe's. <laughs> A little bit of hard work. Oh, the grace of which you move through life, girlfriend. It is like one of those things that this is what I mean. You watch somebody do the things and they just make it seem so effortless and easy. And I, I have to just, your work ethic. It's not is, easy. It's not okay, easy. You said it. a little <laughs> bit of hard work. To me, that sounded almost easy. <laughs> so let me clarify though, when I was starting off, like Got it. that's the thing. It wasn't like I wasn't trying. I wasn't working hard. I was just being my authentic self. Now, multi-million la like later, this company, yes, a ton of hard work. A but ton of hard when work. When I yeah. started, got it. So, okay, walk us back because this podcast is all about sharing with people why Fast Foundations, especially the mastermind, but masterminds yeah. in general are so important and like such a huge piece of people's movement in their business and, and kind of the trajectory of getting to skip the line because they've invested time with people who have done the things before them. So you and I are both big fans of Chris and Lori Harder, the originators yep. of Fast Foundations, uh, the mastermind. And so walk us through where you were at kind of in your journey with this business and how you decided this mastermind was the, the right thing for you to make a move with. Yeah, I was very early on. So I started NIN in 2018 was when we had that first nurse give back night. 
And I knew Chris and Lori from the Isogenics days because I did Isogenics. And I had on my vision board forever that I would be in Chris's elite level mastermind. So when they announced Fast Foundations, to me, I was literally like, I don't know. I think we all have that something inside of us when you just know something is for you or maybe it isn't. But I just was like, I literally didn't care. I was like signed up that day. I'm like, I have got to be there. I, like, I just knew that I had to. And I had followed Lori for a long time, but I just really respected her authenticity. And I think that's so rare in the world we live in and with social media. And like, I knew that, you know, if I was going to do anything in this world, I was going to do it in my own way. And that was why I wanted to join was to be around those people. I'm going to be honest. Well, you already know this about me, but like, I purposely like don't follow people in business. I don't try to do anything like anyone else. Like I am like not trying to honestly get business help. However, I don't want someone to tell me what to do, but I want to see how they do it. And I think success leaves clues. I have always thought that. And so I'm always watching successful people. And Chris and Laura are very successful. Um, I wanted to be around successful people, you know, just like we both did, obviously. And I watched documentaries. Like, I'm just, I think success leaves clues. And I was like, I have to be in that room. Totally. And that's how I felt when Chris announced this too. He said something to me that was like the phrase that spoke to my inner whatever. And he called us accidental entrepreneurs. And like you, when you were like, I wasn't even trying to start a business. Yeah. I knew that the business I was in was not the business I was meant to be in forever. And I had accidentally become an entrepreneur and somewhat successful in the beauty industry. But I knew that there had to be something else out there. And that when I saw him talking about the elite level, same same kind of feeling for me of like, how does one get to that level in business? Like, what do I need to learn and do? I better go find out from these people who are doing it and be yeah. around other people who are having these high level conversations. In the very first, I think it was like second or third episode where RT, Jim and I sat down to talk about why we joined. It was really also that we wanted other high level friends to have these conversations. With. Mm -hmm. The circle that we kind of grew up with or we had currently wasn't going to quite be able to hold the space we needed to have these other conversations. And there's, there's something to be said for going outside of your day to day. Like those people serve a purpose in your life now or where yes. they And then you need other people to like, see the vision goal and push you and be like, are you sure that's big enough? Or what about this? Rather than like, Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. And I know you surround yourself with people who just like pour into you as much as you do with them. Talk to me about like what support and what like the energy of being around those type of people has done for you as far as your belief around creating what you have and then being consistent enough to get to where you've gotten. Yeah, twofold with that. And I will say, you know, our friend Arvin really was one of the most influential people to me in the mastermind. And it's so funny because I didn't really, again, get like ideas for my business, but it was more related to my personal life. And I needed to move like my environment that I was living in was not supporting what I wanted to create. And I'd ended a relationship and I was like living alone in this house and I hated it. I hated being a homeowner. And Arvin was like, literally just called me out. I'll never forget. And he's like, why are you doing this? And I'm like, I don't know. Cause like, I didn't want to move again. And I felt like it was what I quote should do. Looking back, it like makes me laugh. Now I like will move and do anything on a whim. Like I don't care. To me then it was such a big deal. And that's when I talked to my friend, Amanda, who actually ended up joining the next round of Fast Foundations with me and um, renting like a warehouse space from her. And right after I did that, sold my house, moved downtown Detroit to an apartment, got that warehouse space. I got a t-shirt deal. I did a million dollar deal. And I was like, oh, because I moved to that warehouse space. Like I had this space, got me through the whole pandemic. Yeah, it was crazy. And then second, being consistent, I think you have to figure out like what works for you. And that's also what I think is the beauty of being in a mastermind is like we're all in our own heads. Like one of my favorite quotes is you can't read the label when you're in the bottle. And we're like, we say that in my company all the time, like, oh, we got to get out the bottle because we're like in our own bottles. I just like love that visual. But I think in the mastermind, you see all these different kinds of people that are very successful and do things wildly different. And it just like opens you up to think almost like in a different way, you know? And again, I think success leaves clues, but consistency, I just like have felt like the smartest person, the most talented, but I'm like, I will not be outworked. So that is consistency. Fact. That is fact. You will not be outworked. I will second that for you. The thing about, to speak to our friend Arvin, he's been on the podcast before. If you've listened to Fast Foundations, the podcast, you have heard from Arvin. If you haven't heard that episode, it was actually a really good one. 
I think he played a huge role in so many people's life as far oh as. Oh my goodness. He's amazing. He is amazing. Go follow him. Shout out. Tell me <laughs> send you. So, um, Shout out to Arvin. <laughs> and Arvin. He's literally someone who like will see through your soul and into your lies that you're telling yourself and call you out. And his, his infuriating questions of why? I'm like, stop asking me why. I don't know why. Yeah, I hated that. He did yeah. that layers exercise with me before I realized what he was doing. And I almost wanted to punch him and cry at the same time. I think I, I think I did cry, but it's the power of having people call you out on your shit to get out of your own freaking way to do the things that we are, have been put on our heart to do. And, you know, you went on a way that slapped a nurses inspired nurses on a t-shirt. And then what a year or two later, you get this million dollar deal to, to expand the business and grow. Like, I mean, what the fuck? Like that is, I know it's insane. And I think the level of which you were willing to show up and play when things weren't perfect and they were messy and you weren't sure like what you were really doing it all for. All you knew was that there was a community of people who needed support and you were willing to show up and do it because you had lived that life. You were one of them. You are one of them. So speak to us around people who want to create community around a, a message or a vision or something that's on their heart. Like where do they even start? Like they want to make some change. They want to be an influence like you are. Like what do they do? Yeah, that's a great question. I think um, community revolves around a couple of things. I think one, it's like you have to have a shared goal or mission, and that has to be so clear. Um, I actually, as I'm like launching new things, I was like going back through my Instagram and just cleaning a ton of stuff up and like archiving old posts and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, man, even in my early, early stages, one thing I really did right was I was so crystal clear on what I was creating and what I was doing, the value, I guess, behind it. The way that I did it has always changed, but I was so clear on the value. Like I said, human first, nurse second. We don't do anything medical. We take care of you as a human first. That's what I do. Like nurses are so big on being nurses. I think, you know, even more so than a lot of other industries, like obsessed with letters behind their name and all that. Nothing wrong with that but I'm like human first. And so I was just clear on like what I stood for. And so that's going to attract people or turn them away. Well, if you turn them away, great. Like they're not your people anyways. So I think you have to have that common shared, like working towards something. And then I think that part of it was just my like natural authentic self. Like I'm a connector. I love bringing people together. And I think like so often you hit the nail on the head. You said just, you know, kind of taking in perfect, messy action. Like I would just do meetups. I would go to coffee shops. I would travel. I've done them all country. Um, I would just show up. I'd be like, Hey, I'm going to be here for two hours. If you want to come, come. Like, I really don't know who's outworked me, honestly, but like, I would always show up. I would do questions every single Monday. Um, just answering questions, offering massive value. And it just, I don't know. It was just very authentic and real. And I was like genuinely trying to help people even when they didn't pay me. Like some people I've changed their life and they've never paid me a dollar, you know? It's like, I don't know. Hey, it's RT. Thanks so much for listening to the Fast Foundations podcast. I want to see you in the room. I don't want you to just be hearing my and our voices. Let me tell you about the Fast Foundations Mastermind. It's a six month long program and it's our signature program. It's how you join our community. Every time we talk about this amazing community of almost 400 people that have gone through our mastermind that we have here on the podcast that we hear from and our mentors, all that kind of stuff, all the guest speakers, the coaches, all the awesome things that we get to do, it all starts with the mastermind. It's a six month long program with two two day in person events. One's in Scottsdale, one's in Denver. Yes, they're in amazing, beautiful places. We have them in cool spots because that's fun. We also give you six months with a coach, one-on-one. -on -one. And the most important thing is once you go through that mastermind and you learn from all these amazing speakers that we bring in, learn from your coach, grow with me and Jim and the rest of our team, you get lifetime access to our community. Every single thing that we do is recorded and uploaded into a private platform off of Facebook, off of the social medias, all that kind of crap. And it's saved in one place that you have, again, lifetime access to. So when you join the Fast Foundations Mastermind, which you can learn more about at fastfoundations.com and click on join the community to apply. When you join this mastermind, you're in our community for life. I really hope to see you in the room and I hope to talk to you soon.
I wanted to speak to that because I feel like that's a common misconception when people are starting any sort of business, especially an online type of business, is that they feel that maybe they had a career prior that made them X amount of money. And in order to do the new thing, that they should be getting paid at that same level, if not more, because now they've stepped into this other space. But until somebody or people know you trust you and can really count on what you're doing. You weren't getting paid for those coffee chats. Those were just meetups you were doing no. to create community around people knowing what you were standing for, what you're, what you were even trying to bring together. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I ended up getting that deal. Cause they saw what I was doing. That lady, the lady that when she contacted me said that they had been watching me for like six months. That's incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's talk about that story because one-off deals like that don't just show up out of nowhere. So did she kind of go over what she had been watching you do? What were the things? No, that they, they just reached out on my website and I didn't know. I was like glad I had makeup on that day. <laughs> it was like, she was like the vice president of all operations for the entire healthcare system. Wow. Like it was insane. And this is the thing for me though and like there's so much talk out there about manifesting and all these things and arvin always would even say that to me he's like you're the craziest manifester i'm like i know to me i felt so unattached this was the best part like nin it, she's evolving right now she's changing i'm like great it has never once been about me it was like a message that needed to get out into the world i was just lucky enough to like be the one to do it i was like i'm gonna be doing the same thing literally like it's a, amazing that I could get paid for it. Like this business could all go away and close tomorrow. I'd be calling my friend, Amanda. Hey, you need a community person. You need someone to get your people. To, like I would literally be doing this stuff regardless, no matter how much I got paid. So like, I didn't really care. Not obviously I want to make a ton of money and I do make good money and I'm thankful for that. But like, I just was doing it because it was what was needed and what was authentic. I wasn't like, oh my God, this is my income goal. This is what I'm worth. All of that. And I think in the space that we're there is so much talk about making a certain amount not settling and i am all for that it's just a fine balance like you said when you like have no social proof have no, like you don't walk into any job i didn't walk into my first nursing job without like one day of school or one day of anything and just you know i volunteered to get my first nursing job like i don't know <laughs> oh i did shadow work before i ever got paid i was yeah. taking out the trash like for a long time. And then even when I did get paid, it was pennies. I had to live with my mom and just barely was able to get the car to and from. No. And then that's so true. And I think we, we miss those steps of, you know, people wanting the whole work smarter, not harder. I'm like, no, you got to work harder first, usually mm -hmm. um, and that's back to that work ethic. Is that something you grew up like witnessing or have they always been like that? Or was that like a learned skill set with you? Yeah, I've always been that way. And my, my dad is such a hard worker and was like such a good example and just taught me the importance of hard work at a young age. And I just think too, like, I just never want to be that person that's like too good to do anything. And I think that's what else has made me like very successful. Like, I think that, you know, even in our community, like our, the nurses like related to me and I've just always been able to be authentic. And like, since when are we like too good to, I don't know. Do, do yeah do certain things or I don't know it's like I don't know there's just a lot of noise out there I think and and people like want to be around just authentic real people I think and I think people could see that like I did want to support the community I wasn't just talking about it I was doing it right. and I I guess like it goes back to that like I wasn't just sitting there saying like I support nurses I was like no I'm out advocating I'm showing up I'm giving massive value. Like I'm hosting meetups. Like it was never just talking about it or like just posting something. Like I don't do that. I don't just post things. Like I live it. And, you know, I've always lived by Gary Vee's motto document, don't create. So I don't just like, I don't just post about anything. If I'm posting about it, that means I have action behind it, I guess. Uh, well, let's touch on that because that is, I think, a huge reason why people don't see movement or success in their in their growth on social or in their business. Because if you're just posting to post and you're creating, not documenting to like what you just said, so repeat that again. What does Gary Vee say? He says, document, don't create. Like you gotcha. should be doing, basically, you should be doing enough stuff in real life that you should just be able to document it and not just like creating out of thin air. And people get confused on that because they're like, well, don't you have to create? I create content all the time, but it's like, this is the difference. Like 
I'm creating content all the time with real nurses in our community that I built a relationship with over the last four years. I'm sharing their real lived experiences. I'm documenting like no one supports nurses more than we do, gives away more free gifts, gives of their time. I create resources and I document that, but it's out of like experiences and conversations I've had. I'm not just pulling stuff out of the sky or making something up. You know what I mean? Totally. Like I've gotten my hands dirty and I document it. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. And you live life. You live life so that you can share those experiences because you want everyone else to be able to, if they don't have the opportunity to go have that experience, it's almost like they get to be a part of it with you. Yeah. They're doing it. I love that. You're always so good at sharing that. Okay. So let's talk about brand identity. Cause you talk about that on your social media right now. And I know a lot of people yeah. that are stepping into growing a personal brand or building a brand with their business. And Perfect. Call me. I'm going to have something for you soon. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. I, I figured you might. I'm a pretty good investigator of the social media. Yeah. And I saw you tagged our boy, Zach. So I'd love to know more about that. And I think, you know, speaking to- Well, speaking of mastermind, this is the gift that keep giving. So I'm going to work with Zach because I'm going into a new, like more, like I'm embracing more of my creative side, which is I've always been very creative, but it's a very different side of me. So Zach's helping me out a little bit. Like I'm paying him, obviously for his time and energy. It is not free as it shouldn't be because he has a lot of experience. And I have worked with Steven who is in our mastermind, like exponentially. He is so smart. He's like one of the smartest people that is so humble. Like when I say this mastermind, like keeps on giving, it's crazy. It, well, well, let's just touch on both those guys because they were both in the very first round with us. Yeah. Steven, Steven teaches to the, the CEO and teaching you how to step into that CEO role in your in your business, right? Didn't you go? Oh, through he helped me make all my employee handbooks, um, like giving employee reviews. Like all of a sudden, I had a team of nine people, and I've literally never man. I don't even like it. I'm like, oh my god, that's not for me. Thank God for Stephen. I'd be <laughs> literally. I'm. I re like. I have restructured, but I'm like, oh lord, like it is just like I can do it because I'm good with people, but I'm not a good manager. I'm like, I hate rules. Don't want you know. Don't, don't want to wear some by. <laughs> Right. And then with Zach, Zach was in the, the first round too. And we know we hit uh, audio visual. He's great at creating yeah. um, content. And I see what he's putting out now. It's just, it's so clean. It's so good. And it's so oh my awesome. God. It's amazing. So cool. So I can't wait to see what you're coming up with. I feel like we're not going to get the full scoop just yet. No. So y'all go tune into Kat, follow her on social. It's Kat L. Golden on Instagram. Um, and then of course, go support Nurses Inspired Nurses because we are all human first and we all know somebody in the healthcare that could probably use some support, some swag from, from the shop and shout out to, you know, I just remembered you connected me with Amanda too, when I put beauty inspires mm -hmm. beauty together. So if y'all ever wondered where beauty inspires beauty came from, it's this girl right here. I said, Kat, isn't that too much like nurses inspired nurses? This girl goes, you're never going to outdo me. Don't worry about it. You can take the name. <laughs> it was something like that. And I was like, that's the kind of energy. That's the kind of friendships. That's the kind of women supporting women shit that I'm here for. And I took the Beauty Inspired Beauty. And well, we I, nobody's going to be the same. It's like these people try to copy my stuff. Exactly. Like nurses inspire nurses. Not what you're doing is completely different. But I'm like, like that is literally makes me laugh because I'm just like. It's the biggest form of flattery you could ever have. That's what they say in the fashion world. <laughs> I know. No, but it, I know the, the intention behind why you're doing something will always supersede any superficial shit. And that's why creating strong brand identity is so important. And so when people see your shit, they know it's yours. Like, you know, yeah. we, we, you can touch on several different brands that you can see a symbol, you can see a color, you can see a font and you know who it stands for, or where it came from. So I can't wait to see what you're creating. Everything you do and touch is just amazing. And the heart and passion that you put behind stuff is like next to none. Like you, you're one of Thank a kind, you. one of a kind cat. Um, you guys I try to be, I try to be, <laughs> she's a busy woman. I'm going to keep this podcast short. If you want to go consume some good energy and some amazing fun content, go follow Kat on Instagram. And like Thank I said, you. check out nurse inspired nurses, Kat. I am so grateful that the mastermind brought us together. We are about to launch our next round of fast foundations, the mastermind and anybody, this is, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this. We just had a coaches meeting this morning. Anybody who has run through the mastermind will now have lifetime access to all the videos, all of the content that's ever been recorded on there inside our mighty that's network. Amazing. 
So it's pretty cool. It's pretty jam packed because we know that when you go through something like this mastermind, it's a lot, a lot of information being fire hosed at you. And so our new co-owners, RT and Jim have decided to open up that video vault library to anyone who's been in the past round. So if you're a past alumni, you're listening to this episode, know that you will soon be granted access to um, all of that for you to go back and pick apart and relearn from. But uh, I feel like Kat should probably be teaching us a, a lesson in there and come speak to the group. Can we maybe get you? I will. Okay. Yeah, I'd love Done. to. Done. That would be amazing. All right, guys, we will see you on the next episode of Fast Foundations and Mastermind. If you got any questions, check out fastfoundations.com. Thank you, Kat. <laughs>